Hey guys, really super quick little video. Um, I'm not able to edit videos very well right now because my uh, my computer is in a, not a great state. But that is going to change here in a couple of weeks. But I did finally get some baby rabbits. Um, here's Mama. Mama's not... I mean, she's not super friendly, I guess. She's not unfriendly, but she, you can see kind of by her eyes that she doesn't really want to be handled. Or I could com compare my boy Smudge here. He just loves being petted. Yeah, it's all about the body language with the rabbits. Anyway, I did finally get some baby bunnies. I'm gonna say these are probably ones that came from Smudge. I actually I actually bred both of the males to um, to this doe. But uh, yeah, anyway, I wanted to do a little bit of a baby rabbit count. These were born about a week ago, about a couple weeks ago. Uh, when was it? A Friday or two ago. Um, last, I want to say it was last Friday, as of making this video. Um, I was sick, and I didn't want to come out here and and touch them, uh, just in case. I don't know, just you know, precautions. But yep. So we're gonna do a baby rabbit count. I have actually already lost two baby rabbits, both of them due to mama accidentally dragging them out of the nest and they got cold. But you can see, oh there's so many, how many are you? We're gonna add two, but we're also gonna, you know, count the two that died. Um, or we're gonna subtract the two that died rather. So here's a one. Let us put them on the wire for right now. Whoops. Oh, sorry. One. Here's a two. Here's a three. Oh my god. Come here. Here's a four. This is why I think they were smudges, because he's black. And Jerky Wagon is a, uh, a ten. How many is that? Four? Four babies. There's a five. Oh, their eyes are opening up. I want to say because their eyes are opening up, maybe they are at least a week old. There's six. Oh no, don't get lost. Here's seven. Oh, you're a brown one. Oh, look at you. Oh, come here. God. Oh, look at how pretty. Look at little pretty brown one. What was that six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go over there. Go next to Mama. She doesn't want that. Hey, now, I'm trying to count babies here. Get out of there. Seven. And it actually looks like it was just seven. So eight and nine babies. Oh no! No. It was a little scream. Mama stepped on one. So we'll put them back in really quick. It's not super cold right now. They're not in any danger. And three. Four. Come here. Five. Move, Mama. Six. Oh, did we lose one? Oh, here he is. And seven. So she had nine. Now, because my bucks are... Frankly, my bucks are old. They're both, uh, well, Smudge is about five or six years old, and Jerky Wagon is probably four or five years old. There has been a reduced fertility within them. Um, I have actually bred my new does, who I know are young does. I just got them last, last summer at some point. Um, they're almost too old to breed now, but uh, I have got them. I know that they're young, and they should be plenty fertile. But I've bred them five times now, and this is the only doe that has actually given birth. Now, ordinarily with a rabbit, you would only give them maybe three tries if they happen to be a bad mama. Uh, however, since my, my bucks are getting up there in age and my does are still young, I am going to go ahead and I'm not going to actually penalize my little does for not conceiving, I suppose. Um, I know that it sounds cruel, but whenever you have more than three, tri three tries with a doe, 
with a good buck, you shouldn't really keep that doe in, in your, uh, you know, your flock. But yeah, anyway, since I know my, my, my bucks are old bucks, I'm not going to penalize the does for not getting pregnant. It, it probably is not their fault. Uh, and I'm going to be in the market for a new buck or two. Um, the does that haven't been bred are still, mm, they're still young enough that if I were to breed them, it wouldn't really cause them any harm. You don't really want to breed a doe who is over a year old, or maybe even a year and a half old. These are really big girls. These are, um, what are they? They are Flemish Giant mixes. Flemish Giant in New Zealand, I want to say. I kind of got them from a backyard breeder, so I don't really know what the actual breed is. But they are, uh, they were claimed to be Flemish Giants. Now I know that Smudge here, he's a New Zealand. And he is a big boy. If you can see my hand, he probably weighs he probably weighs ten pounds, this big old boy here. And the jerky wagon is the same way. See he's a blonde boy. I don't have any blonde ones in there. Weird. They must all be yours, my dude. They must all be yours. Um anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get a new buck. And I'm gonna try one more time with my poor little does before they're too old. And we will see what happens. And I'm hoping that I can get some more, some more baby rabbits. Uh, maybe just not from these guys. Now, if you're worried about the fate of my two boys here, if you're worried about the fate of Smudge and the fate of Jerky Wagon, and incidentally the fate the fate of Dots, none of these rabbits are going to be put in the freezer. They are uh, very good, or they were very good breeding stock. They have done me really well over the past five years or so. And they're just going to live out their lives here on the farm as pets. And you can tell when a bunny likes to be petted because he'll close his eyes and he'll put his ears up. I have no idea what the neighbor's doing over there. What is happening? Oh, they're just being rednecks. Yeah. yeah he likes this. He's having a good time. Uh, yeah, so there's my video. This is my video, bunny count. We have seven babies. We had nine, two died. It was not the fault of the doe whatsoever baby just happened to kind of fall off, uh, or, or find, kind of fall out of the nest. Uh, the one this morning I tried to save her, but she she was already gone by the time I got a hold of her. Um, uh, I know it's been a long time since videos have been posted. I'm having some computer problems, as I have mentioned numerous times in the past. Just a couple more weeks, my birthday's going to be here, my taxes will be coming in, and I'll actually be getting a new computer build. And I'm hoping, well, I'm I'm almost positive, that my computer build is going to solve my video editing issues and I'll be able to post a little bit more frequently. I don't know that I'll be able to do it daily, but I am hoping to get at least once a week up these days. Over the last couple of years, I know that I have said that I have wanted to post once a week, but that's just simply not been possible with my hardware. So, as it is right now, even though it's still a couple more weeks out, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I definitely want to thank you for sticking with me. I have some 7,000 viewers now, even though I haven't really posted that often, and I it, it kind of blows my mind, to be completely honest. I thought that I would drop off on subscribers, but uh, clearly I'm doing something right, and I want to keep doing something right. And I want to keep interacting with you and, and all of that as soon as my new build comes up, or as soon as my new build is finished, rather. So just... You know, thank you for sticking with me, and thank you for watching my videos. Uh, this is not really a matter of income for me. This is a matter of, of just wanting to put videos out for people. I, I actually don't make a whole lot of money doing this. And I know that that's a, that's a, a motivation for a lot of YouTubers, but it, it kind of isn't really for me. All I want to do is I just, I do this to relax. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's me hitting the, me in the cage. But I do this to relax, I do this to try and educate and um, I'm just really glad that you guys have stuck around with me and I don't really know what else I could say other than thank you you know so yeah if you if you liked the video go ahead and like it if you didn't like it you could dislike it that's okay too and uh, if you really really like me a long time go ahead and subscribe and hopefully in a couple of weeks I will be able to have a little bit better of a a posting time a little bit better or a little bit more consistent posting time because I won't be fighting with my computer uh, blue screening once a week and losing all of my data so yep uh, hope to see you again soon maybe in March 
and I really hope that everything is going well with you all and I hope that you're having a lot of luck and you're having a really easy life and the winter isn't too hard on you and you know all of that stuff so I yeah I guess that's it um, see you all next time and I love you very much <laughs>